Alrighty. Welcome guys, if you guys haven't watched my channel, my name is Caleb. I do tech reviews, and this tech review is specifically about the iPhone 12. Now, the iPhone 12 just got released hours ago, and I want to talk about a couple points that I'm really excited about and why I'm going to be pre-ordering my Apple iPhone 12. A couple key important things that I'm really excited about that might get you excited about it too and let you guys want to be able to buy it. So, first of all, I'm a filmmaker making YouTube videos. It's constantly a challenge being able to film with my phone. And I have an iPhone 7. That's cracked. And it's old. I've had it for like three, four years. So it's time for an upgrade. Nonetheless, the cameras are really what I'm focusing on in the iPhone 12, which they're bringing to their pro models. Now the pro models are gonna be having a wide angle lens, a super wide, and a telephoto. I'm really, really excited and stressing this point specifically. They can record in 4K HDR and it's just mind boggling because usually 4K 60, which is what they also labeled on the website or in the Apple event, that 4K 60 is possible in the new iPhone 12 Pro and that's usually what you're going to be able to get with a high-end DSLR. Like this, this camera right here, the M50, can only shoot in 1080-60. That's usually what I shoot in. And 4K, you can only shoot 4K 23 frames per second, which that's good for any, any normal kind of just cinematic kind of style, normal speed style videos. But if you want to get that slow-mo in there, you need that 60 frames per second. So that's a really big advantage when you're trying to get better video quality. So I think that's awesome and that's one big reason that's one big reason why I'm gonna be pre-ordering the iPhone 12. Now this also comes along with a lot of other features that are integrated using the new image signal processor. That's what it's called. It's what's gonna be able to make your photos really come to life with deep fusion. Now deep fusion basically is taking the um, the LiDAR from the new iPhone 12 so you can actually get more information and more like more quality out of your low light photos which also brings me to another point so the wide lens on the iPhone 12 is getting an upgrade it's gonna have 1.6 f-stops and that's gonna allow you for better um, better low light circumstances which is also for better crisp and clear photos video Let's talk video for a second. I know I just talked about photos and stuff like that, but we're gonna transition back to video, which brings me back to 4K HDR. 4K HDR is awesome, which also comes with Apple Pro, Apple Pro Raw, which enables you, enables you to be able to color grade photos and make them more higher quality, which I can't even do that on this M50. That does come with bigger file sizes, but, because they have 5G, with 5G, if you're out on the go, you can edit and record in 4K60, which makes for checking your shots really, really easy. My next very favorite item that we're gonna be talking about, which is the MagSafe technology. MagSafe technology, it's basically, if you think about it, it's just like you took your Apple Watch charger and slapped it onto an iPhone 12. That's basically what it is. But it's cool, because that means you're going to have more access to other accessories like magnetic cases and they also previewed a magnetic wallet that you're going to be able to add to the back of your phone or onto the back of a case. And they also say that charging does work with accessories. So that's one big thing because I've always had the like the thought of like dude, if you had a wireless charger and that's the only thing you could charge it with, you can only take it off the charger to be able to look at your phone. But with this now, you can put it to the back of your phone, pick it up, and still use your phone when like you're at bed at night. I also am excited that I'm not gonna have to buy another magnetic circle. This one right here. This little magnetic circle goes in my car, and now I would not have to buy another one of these to stick onto my magnet. Because, two things. One, it's gonna be included in the iPhone 12, and third parties, Third-party companies are going to be coming out with, with um, MagSafe devices or MagSafe technology that will be able to charge and you're going to be able to put it on your dash. So I think that's cool. Watch out for that. Um, 
Yeah, but that's really, those are the two really big things that I'm really excited for on the iPhone 12. And I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.